There we go. That looks beautiful. It does look beautiful. That looks really good. Good enough to eat <laughs> so these are the ham and cheese, right? Yep. Yes. Ham and cheese. Well, I thought yes. they were chocolate, but okay. chocolate. Oh. Do we have a chocolate on there? And this one is? This is a pistachio raspberry croissant. Okay. Nice. Then we have our cherry pastries, which are built on a croissant. They've got cheese in the center, a very sweet, creamy cheese. Okay. And then this is our seasonal... Um, <laughs> Pumpkin, and that guy is just out now. <clears throat> that guy's so, looking good. Pumpkin, uh, those things are we, we are, and actually, what a great introduction! <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, good, morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. This is our next episode of Breakfast at Bloomhaven. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning Aurora is here. Good morning, Aurora. With great new friends, and uh, sir, this is your second time on the camera. It Who is. are you? It is. Hi, I'm Jeff Williams. I'm with the Tributes Cafe 1888. We're working hard to get open here at uh, in Aurora, and we're so excited to to be here. I brought some friends with me this morning. This is Edge. Edge is going to be our chef as we introduce our savory items. Morning, and this Edge. is Scott. Scott is our director of operations, so he oversees all of the. Uh, all of the work that needs to be done oh, to get us in there. Yeah. A whole big thing. A whole big thing, yeah. yeah. It's a number of operations now. So. All right, Cafe 1888. Yes. Stay tuned for that. And we also have our friend Becky. Good morning. Good morning, Aurora. I'm Becky from Bardwell Residences, Director of Sales and Marketing. All right. And? Good morning. I'm Lisa from Weston Bridges, and I'm Outreach and Networking. All right, all right. Good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. So we have a um, we have a few things that we're going to talk about today, and today is a very special and interesting day. It's a great thing, or great things going to be happening here this afternoon for folks to see and check out. Uh, but we do want to talk about. Um, we're going to start off with the October special, um, specifically also its correlation with birthstones and opal. Yeah. Becky, can you tell us about I, I opal? Can. So. October's birthstone is the opal, and one of my personal favorite stones because no matter how you look at it, it looks different, right? Mm -hmm. and, and different reflections of light make it look different, much like a prism. So the reason that I have chosen October to be our month to focus on memory care is not only because it's Mental Health Awareness Month, and which is all tied to the brain, but when you're, you have some sort of dementia diagnosis, your brain is much like the prism, the opal and it can change on a dime and things can change and even just your change of scenery can create different things happening in your mind which can create different behaviors with the dementia world so right now for the month of october if you have a loved one suffering from a memory diagnosis we do have some availability in our brand new memory care <laughs> All right, and here is the special, once again, right here. The mind is a colorful collection of things in honor of October's uh, birthstone, the opal and its colorful collection. Our memory care neighborhood has a special offer. So um, this is also in digital form, and we'll share that on our um, Facebook as well. So you guys be sure to check this out. It is amazing. You should be able to see it on our Facebook as well. All right, and be sure to follow Bardwell Residences on Facebook and Instagram as well. Well, hello Hi. there. Hi. Good morning. Good to see you again, Lisa. You too. Thank you for having me again. Absolutely. So um, now this uh, fantastic campus has a lot going on and has had a lot going on throughout history too. And I see that we have an awesome timeline over there behind uh, Becky. So can you take us through the timeline and show us just a couple of things as we uh, go through the show this morning? So this, this campus has really withstood the test of time literally. Okay. Um, in 1888, the first part of the hospital was opened as Aurora City Hospital. They only had 25 beds and it's beautifully um, repurposed and refinished on Lincoln Avenue, gorgeous red brick building. And it's actually where Cafe 1888 will be opening very soon. And we're super excited about that. Unfortunately, after several um, extensions and buildings added on to the hospital, uh, Rush bought Copley in 1995 and the site was closed. Wow. And for a quarter of a century, and, and I always emphasize it that way because it, 
if you think about something sitting empty for a quarter of a century and what time will do to it, that's bad enough. But also, they had a little, you know, time had a little help from some friends mm -hmm. who also decided to really desecrate the site and make it an awful place to move through. Um, when Mayor Irvin got elected, his very first uh, duty in office was to sign something saying, let's do something about this. Let's find something uh, to come to this site and make it vibrant again and make it something that the neighbors are proud of rather than something that they're, you know, ashamed to have in their backyard and frankly, afraid of what's going on in the building. So I'll let Becky take over from there, um, what has happened in that timeline of refinishing. All right, all right. So the, the city and, and the ownership group, Fox Valley Developers, spent a lot of time doing a lot of market studies and, and such to sort of figure out what to do with all this. But the very first task they did was create a, about a two acre park at the east end of the campus with the, a collaboration with the Fox Valley Park District. And if you haven't been there, it's very cool. It has, you know, I'm old, right? So I grew up in a playground of sand, but it has that, that cushy floor, whatever right. that's called, um, and a beautiful splash pad that's all solar powered. So that is called the Weston Park. And it's the, actually the only thing that the Fox Valley Park District did during COVID. Wow. Um, so we're very proud of that. And it has been an amazing addition to the neighborhood. Um, in fact, my own personal nephews like to come over because they think the slash pad here is very cool. So, um, and then in the first building renovation that was completed was the East Aurora School District building. So that was the building that was built in 1957, the former nurses dormitory. And they closed on that, I believe it was June of 2021. East Aurora took that building over and sort of moved in. And then we started all this big building, right? And, and so, the, the bulk of the construction was done in the big building, part of which you're in right now, but Weston Bridges opened in April, August of 22, yep. I hope. <laughs> and then April of 23 is when independent senior living opened, July being when assisted living opened, and then October was when we opened memory care. Wow. Um, and then next is Cafe 1888. Yes. And then after that, we will have our healthcare center opening, hopefully by the end of first quarter next year, and that will be VNA healthcare coming in. So we're super excited about that. I hope to have them here next month All right. to talk a little bit about what they're going to do. Um, but, you know, the, the timeline is very detailed, but I kind of summarized it in <laughs> without actually going through mm -hmm. the timeline. So... We're super excited to, to have all these things going on and changing and, you know, and at the same time filling up senior living, um, Western Bridges is almost at their capacity already. I feel like so long ago that was such a dream. Lisa and I have both been here all through construction, so we've been here a long time. Yeah, we We're just through. signed another resident yesterday, as a matter of wow. fact, wow. and so we only have three apartments left, so we're pretty proud of that and more than a little exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Great job. What yeah. a fantastic job. We do still job. have some opening in senior living, but we're about double the size of Western Bridges. So we were the same size. We'd be full so as well. <laughs> I have to give an impromptu shout out to Memory Care. So I have a support dog that I bring to this campus to meet with seniors every other week. And we always start at Memory Care. And I have to tell you, my dog's name is Hugo, and that's his favorite stop. Aww. He loves memory care. And he often will kind of resist when it's time for us to pull away. And I have never gone to that floor and not have residents out in the common area, not have CNAs planning and doing things with them. Sometimes they're singing, sometimes there's activities, sometimes they're just sitting and holding hands on the couch. It's a very positive and renewing experience for me because my father had dementia and I wish that we could have found something that really felt like home the way this feels like home. And I'm not just saying this because Becky's my friend. I really do feel <laughs> that it's a, you walk in and you feel a very positive vibe and that you can't get that anywhere. So if you do have a loved one that you're afraid of taking the next step because you're worried about what that might look like or feel like, come and visit Becky, let her show you. It is such a wonderful environment and so positive and stimulating. I really can't say enough about it. You're gonna make me cry. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. No, I, I, 
I, I agree. <laughs> well, um, walking in, since, since meeting you both, walking yeah. in has always felt, you know, great every single time. Mitch and kudos to the entire team, yeah. um, everyone here as well. So one of our great listeners, Josue, is the owner of Harry Beast Dog Parlor. And he says, bring Hugo to Harry Beast. Oh, yeah. Hugo actually just had a spa day yesterday. Okay. <laughs> but thank you. I will keep that Absolutely. In mind. And Stacy Cardona, Daniel Calderon, good morning to you guys. All right. All right. Um, so. I mean, I know that we call this breakfast at Bloomhaven, and I'm probably going to jump all over. Can you guys eat this stuff? Because if you don't, I'm going to start licking it. Well, you know. <laughs> Yeah, we'll yeah I that. plan on, um, I'm going to get some of that right there. And I know I that you guys there, like that. The church services are down the way, right? So maybe we can even oh, there you go. break this up and yeah, offer it to <clears throat> Bring yeah. it to the church service. Well, think about us because we live around this. So we're always <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. doing this. Yeah. Yeah. You guys look pretty and you guys good. are shockingly <laughs> true. <trimmed. laughs> <laughs> I'm sucking it in hard right now. Yeah, okay. Um, these yeah. look beautiful, though. Yeah, well, really thank do. you. Thank you. And this is just a sample of the things we'll have. This is our kind of our morning fare, but we're going to be offering food all day long. We'll have lunch and then small plates in the evenings. Um, Scott and Edge have been working hard on the menu, along with Jackie, um, who comes up with all these desserts and pastries. And I think it's going to be quite a, quite a menu. I think you guys are going to be uh, pretty impressed. All right. So I, yeah. I just need to. Can we? I, I'm sorry. I'm probably totally going out of turn. No, you got it. I need to know what this thing is because, as an Italian, I hope I hear all of my Italians cheering in the background. This looks like a ginormous cannoli. It does. It's, a, it's, it's, so, it's a pistachio, I'm sure. Well, but I need you to just tell me what that is. And we, we, do, we do make some wonderful cannolis. Oh, good. Um, but this is not one of them. This is one of our homemade uh, croissants. It's a it's a pistachio raspberry. Can croissant. I smell it? Is that weird? Oh, no, yeah. it's not weird. Go ahead. So weird. it's one of our croissants. It kind of smells like a cannoli. I'm not gonna lie. But what's this red stuff? That's uh, are you that trying to get be, to that? And I'm talking no, about that would be the cherries from our cherry pastry. Oh. <laughs> they were. And there's not something inside. They of were cold mingling. Well, there is there is some raspberry. Oh, but I think inside. that's what I see. Yes, because I see it right there. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So and that's the raspberry is our homemade jam. And oh, it's wonderful. One of my nice favorite things stuff. is to get a warm croissant, just a plain croissant, and put some raspberry jam on that on a, a cool day with a hot cup of coffee. And oh my gosh. So, brother, you make me warm my coffee. Yeah. Hold on, let me take a, <laughs> let me take a sip. Because I'm gluten free, right? And I yes. know that there are a lot more of us in the world than we like to imagine. Yeah, and I know that you guys do yeah, some gluten free. I know. <laughs> I think she doesn't want to. I don't want to be gluten free. I would like to lick it. all of this. You but unfortunately, I have an well, autoimmune disease that creates yeah, it. Oh, but yeah. do you, tell me, like, I know that you have options for me because I've yeah. been to the yes. Montgomery Cafe. So can I know those macaroons are pretty fantastic. Yeah, they are pretty Look good. at that face. That's so he's like, I'm going to ask yeah. you not to make too much of this kind of stuff. Right. Because right. <laughs> I'm really well, trying and, to not eat all that. No, <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned macaroons because Jackie's uh, won awards for her macaroons. Yeah, they are. Um, They're worth dying for. So we make the shells ourselves. We make the, the whole macaroon. But the special sauce, if I were determined like that, is like our that. ganache that's on the inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have our own recipes for that, and they are amazing. So will you be bringing macarons later yes. on today? Uh, Good yes. segue, right? Oh, yeah. 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 dessert side rather than the pastry side, but we'll have those for the bake off. Today. So we right. have an event here this yeah. afternoon and uh, tomorrow morning, um, Bloom Haven's Fall Fest. We have some local artisans and crafters coming and setting up tables tonight, three to six, tomorrow, nine to noon. Many of them are neurodiverse individuals who are running small businesses as a way to help support themselves. Mm -hmm. So I highly encourage you to come out and spend local, right? Um, do some early Christmas shopping. Christmas shopping. How, we have some Halloween stuff come out as well. Nice. Uh, but wait, just, I have a question. Do I have to have cash for this? Because I need to cash, cash. Zelle, Venral, or some of the artisans might take a credit card. But so I know I our our residents will not. Okay, yeah. Got it. So I, it's a little bit of a thing. But we've asked Jeff to bring some treats mm -hmm. out, and we'll have apple cider and coffee tonight. 
and it's just a local, very grassroots, very sweet little local event. But we would love Aurorans to come out and support us either tonight, three to six, or tomorrow, nine to noon. And the one little side note to that is as we speak, we have four teams of residents from our campus who are baking cookies for our cookie bake off. I feel like I need to stand over here because I don't know that everyone gets that Lisa and I are a team, right? So we right. basically are the same job. One yes. for Western Bridges, one for I think it's still so, described there were two halves of one brain. And I don't know that that's a good thing, I'm but sure. it works for us. I like that. It works I like that. that. Yeah. But so one of my residents mm -hmm. in senior living is currently baking mm -hmm. with one of two, or two, sorry, two. of Lisa's residents from Western Bridges. And they have each team has created this amazing cookie recipe. Mm -hmm. And then they are at three o'clock. We have some celebrity judges coming over. Including Curtis. And, <laughs> yeah. Curtis will be here. Mayor Urban will be here. Keith Cross will be here, um, our police chief. So super excited. Um, we have a couple others as well. But we are very excited to have, this is kind of our first true on your own team event. And they're doing a bake-off. And so we'll see how this So the out. seniors really are in charge of the team, and my group is there to dump and pour and follow directions. But what we're hoping is it just continues to foster that relationship between the two sides of our campus right. and help seniors realize that our residents have a lot to offer and how our residents realize that they have an adoptable grandma or grandpa right on this side as well. And we've already so, had some of that happening. We have, we have a we, couple of residents on the senior side who don't have much family and have truly sort of mm -hmm. adopted a, a, a Western Bridges resident. And which, we love to and come vice over. Versa. Yeah. We love to come over for different crafts and activities too. So we know everyone, which is Absolutely. helpful. Um, mm -hmm. but, it, but we're really excited about this event and how it will all come together and kind of launch this fall fest. Can't wait. And it's going to be at three o'clock today. Three o'clock is the, is the judging. The judging. Yes. So, yes. and then of course we're getting rid of all the cookies. So there'll be cookies <laughs> yeah. going out into the community. <laughs> Everyone needs to come eat, please. Uh, but you know, I, I did a fall fest last year, just Saturday morning and Lisa and I hadn't really worked on it together. It was kind of just a last minute thing and we had a really great turnout. And so I'm counting on you, Aurora, to come help support our artisans again this year. Um, and we'll have some signs up somewhere for you to come in. I just haven't yeah. figured out what door yet, but you know, it's not till three o'clock, so I got time. Yeah. <laughs> We've got all the time in the world for us. Yes, this is how we flow. Yeah, yep. so and I are kind of flying by the seat of our feet. Yeah, I want to get in on the family too oh. because <laughs> we're, we're part of it now. You as well, yes. we're going to be hiring three residents from oh, Western yeah, right. and we're yeah. really excited we're about having them on board. Uh, and I have to tell a story about Donna. Donna is one of the residents at Bardwell, and every time we're working on the kitchen, I'll look out the side door where the wheelchair ramp is, and she will have rolled up to the door, and she'll be knocking on it, saying, "How soon are you going to open?" <laughs> so I, you know, I, and we actually were just discussing this yesterday. Jessica, who's our resident service coordinator. Mm -hmm. Asked me just yesterday, when is the Trevite opening? And I'm know, like, a couple more weeks, a couple more yep. weeks. And, and she said, oh my gosh, someone asks me every, every other hour. Yeah. Every other hour is what yeah. she told me. And I was like, every other hour? Can we put a sign up? What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have, I have, we we are, do a, we'll do a countdown. We have so oh my gosh, we should. We should do a countdown. We, we have that. parents every week who are like, hey, is that coffee yeah. place open yet? And we're trying. I think they're trying to get trying. into the wine bar personally. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, We'll, but, well, we encourage them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so many great There's things. There's going to be a table that says Becky and Lisa's table. Yeah, go yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This it'll, is, be, it'll be our, like our little escape. It'll, it'll be the one with the recliners. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the recliners will be fabulous. Be it's going to be fun. It's going to be a great I time. I am a coffee freak, right? And yeah. I drink so much coffee. In fact, you might see right over there my Geneva Vikings mug. Oh, because wow. while I used to bleed red and blue, my son bleeds blue and white. And we are playing Batavia tonight, so there will be no red in our life. Um, okay. But um, <laughs> I fill my Geneva Vikings cup multiple times a day with really good coffee, and so I'm really excited to be buying it. We are here. so excited. Yes. Well, we, we do have wonderful coffee. It's yeah, from a roaster in Plainfield, and we've used them for years, and they are phenomenal. You had it last time. Yes, that it was, was great. Coffee. Stuff. Yeah. It was great it was coffee. Good stuff. And they right. also always offer like. Like, it's not just cream and sugar, right? Like, oh, I no, can we'll put almond full, milk or oat milk. Yeah, yeah, that we'll makes have, me we'll happy, too. We'll have the different milks. We'll have a, a full espresso bar, and it'll be great. 
Little mm -hmm. Do you do those espresso IVs or? Yeah. <laughs> espresso. I like the. Just kidding. I'm sure we can come up. With <laughs> yeah, I think we can. We're, we're joining part of the medical. Uh -huh. So what's next, Curtis? Yeah, Where what do you want to do? Well, uh, I think next it's uh, it's getting to our time. We've got a lot of things coming up today, so I think what would be good is if we wrap up the show with you guys. Cutting up these oh, fantastic, yeah. fantastic pieces of pastry just want to eat, so that we all can eat. <laughs> so that we all can we eat. You might be able to find some takers out in the parlor, too. Oh, I'm sure. Yes, absolutely. Yes. I should let the chefs do this. Yeah, why don't yes. oh, oh, come on. Do you work out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it's, it's, it's the best. This is going to be hard, actually. Oh, there you go. I know. I, I feel like you were. Sure, sure. This is not. Church. So that is a good point. We do have church here on Friday morning at 9 a.m. That's great. And it's a non-denominational Christian oh, Thursdays. We look do at that. a Catholic communion, communion service. Oh. That's crazy. That it is like a big cannoli. I feel like you're lying to me. No. Can you no, put that yes. ricotta in there? It Where's is, my shop? You, is, you got that, Ed? She, we can put ricotta. ricotta. Yeah. That okay. Is, uh, that's <laughs> pastry <laughs> cream in there. Oh, yeah. Ed's like, we can make that happen. We can make that happen. Constructed cannoli. I mean, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, the cinnamon so roll, trendy. we have to try the cinnamon roll. We should warm that up. But, uh, those what, are this is, what is this again? That, that one looks like chocolate, chocolate, but the other one is right. the other one ham? Isn't there an extra uh, I thought one was ham, but I think you're right. I think they're both the, uh, the chocolate. I feel like I just need to cut into this just for fun. Yes. Our <laughs> monthly show here, Breakfast at Bloomhaven, gets better and better. It really does. <laughs> I mean, you guys better. Oh, yeah, oh my fun. gosh. Look at all that chocolate in there. Yeah. And it's like so airy. Ooh. Yes, the laminations are the key to a croissant, and oh, uh, Jackie and does that down to a science. Clearly. The laminations are the key to I a croissant. I don't know what that means. Wasn't but there some I'm going to use that. I can't wait till I can drop that. There you go. <laughs> Wasn't there some illumination thing going on? Uh, yeah, is that the same thing? <laughs> okay, well, let's take this on the road, shall we? That's a bad joke. On the road, yes, that's a good plan. Why don't yeah, we put this here. one over here? There you go. There we, we have, have, um, And Curtis wants to eat, though, so Curtis, what yeah, do you want? Yeah, I love a slice of this <laughs> one right here. <laughs> this is it. We'll just take all this. This is it. We didn't cut that one. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, just take the cut up one. Okay, we'll come back and cut it. Let's see if we can get some takers. All right. I feel like we can Here we go. I love this room. I, I want to. Uh, I want it's to amazing. It's Did you know it's like sixty-five percent original? Yes, I, I saw know, that. It's crazy, and, and it's beautiful. Of course. Megan, would you like a pastry? Like, I don't know. Where it's going going on. On. If, are any of these dairy-free? Um, no. Probably not. I don't not. believe they are. <laughs> no, they all have. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can handle the beans. Yeah. Yeah. We also have some You're pumpkin welcome. cinnamon rolls. Oh, oh. Yeah. I wish I could do that. I don't have the Did you? Well, a lot of people are in church right now, so let's, let's head into yeah. the church. And see. We'll come back. I think Mitch is calling us from that. Oh, yes. good. Good. Yes. Hey, make sure you get Mitch. <laughs> Mitch. Good morning, Mitch. Good morning. <laughs> Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Good morning, Friday. 